Good afternoon, Sean again. It's three o'clock on the afternoon of Thursday, September the 15th? 15th. Um, nothing happening here. There's one little gray truck down there between the trees on the lower portion. There's a guy leaning up against it. But otherwise, there's no action here. I don't see Shauna, the person in the office. I did not see her truck in the parking lot. So it looks like this place is pretty much shut down for the day, or maybe the rumors are true, and Mike and Marty have gone bankrupt. So what does that leave us with? Ooh, but 150 plus thousand tons of contaminated soil is what it leaves us with. Because do you honestly think they're going to take care of this after they walk away from it? Or I should say, run away from it? Cowards. Come in, poison our community, buy up our businesses, such as the Purple Building. And if anybody buys their water from the Purple Building, you're buying it from Mike Kelly, the man who is poisoning the water. Isn't that smart? Yeah, he's got it all planned. He's had this plan for a very long time. He ingratiated himself into our community and then turned around and did this. Yeah, but he really doesn't give a shit. So regardless, this place is quiet today, but I'm still going to walk around and uh, see what's happening at the bottom. All right, I'm going to pause and walk around. Okay, I'm down below and there seems to be a couple of workers here beside the uh, generator working on their car. I wonder if it's broken down too. Like everything else in this place. Wow, look at this soil. It's right here now. Look at how close that is, people. Really, really close. Oh, and it stinks. Oh my God. Even as dry as it is, it just stinks. So look at this slope that they've built now. So they've dug out from the other side and they've stacked it all over here now. So this is as full as it can possibly get because um, it's like right here. I'm standing about 20 feet away from it. Oh my God, it stinks. And these two guys are working on the truck next to the generator. So I'm wondering why. Look at the tanks, they're lovely indented. I'll zoom in for you. Yeah, dented tanks. Those have not been replaced workers. There's another guy over there sitting in his little truck. There's another guy over there. Yeah, wondering what's going on here. So, this is as full as it can get here. They can't pile it any higher. I don't know how they're going to be able to bury this under three meters of soil because, well, that'll be going over the edge here. So they probably haven't thought that one through yet because, well, they don't think anything through. They just do it. So these two guys are now getting in their trucks and leaving. Bye-bye. If you know these guys in their trucks, let them know that they're working with poison and we really don't appreciate them being in our community. And if you don't like it, get out. Seriously. Just get out of our community. We don't want you here. Never did, never will. There they go. Anybody recognize those trucks? No. They're gonna go meet up with the other guys in the truck over there. And they're all gonna sit in their trucks. Look at how big that pile of clean fill is. That came from Hillside and Blanchard and the Dale Herb Tree Farm. So that stuff is apparently clean. So the plan is to take that stuff and put it on here and turn it into a clean fill site. Absolutely no concern for the big pile of poison sitting underneath of it. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to be able to stay up here much longer. Got to go. Um, this is my video for Wednesday, September the 15th, I believe it is. And um, I appreciate all the people that give me help and uh, support me in what I do up here. Um, I couldn't do it without you. Thank you.
just thought I'd give you a little perspective here. Shawnigan Lake, pit. Shawnigan Lake, pit. Yeah, not a good location. Now, I know my videos can be a little depressing because, well, there's a really no way you can make a toxic soil dump above your watershed, a light and fluffy bunny thing. But this is a solution. These are maple logs that I um, got from the Cowartan Tribes Daycare. Thank you very much. So I have grabbed these today and I'm taking them home and I'm going to be inoculating them with oyster mushroom plugs, which means these logs will then become hosts for the oyster mushrooms to grow and they will send their mycelium out through the new um, ephemeral toxic creek that's coming out from underneath this pit. So um, I'm going to be placing these in the creek as soon as I can. So I'm going to need some strong men who can carry these logs. I loaded them into the car myself and there is no freaking way that I'm going to be able to crawl down that pathway to the new creek to put these in. So um, I will need some strong men to help me do this. Um, and then I'm going to go back and get another load and do it again and keep doing it so that we can um, basically try and bioremediate any of the crap coming down before it gets to us. Then on the bottom of the lake, we're going to be putting in floating broom booms wetlands that have the plants that eat the contaminants in those. And um, probably a couple of oyster mushroom logs on those ones too. So this is a solution. I want people to know not all is lost. We need to start doing this now before the big rains hit so that the oyster mushrooms have a chance to get themselves established. Thank you very much and I will see you soon. Bye.